hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to continue my game and in the previous video you know, we have added the score functionality so uh, today in this video we are uh, going to make our game ready for uh, mobile devices both for android and ios so as you can see that on my screen i have added two buttons so right here one of them is big jump and the other is small jump button so you can uh, go to create and inside ui you can simply create a button and after that uh, increase its size so that uh, it is uh, visible uh, on the screen and uh, change the color according to your uh, game background theme so i have selected this color for that and change the alpha to something like 0.4 so we can uh, so uh, we can get a transparent effect on our button so by default it is on one so make sure to decrease it to 0.45 or something now uh, on both of these button what i have done is i have added an event trigger so we don't want to use on click because it will cause a uh, issue with our game so we want an event trigger on both of these buttons so you can add this event trigger by going to add component and search for event trigger and add it onto your both of these buttons so as you can see that i have it on both buttons so after that uh, yeah, this will uh, look like that and then click on plus button and it will add an event to it now drag this QB and drop it onto your event trigger and we want to call the jump function when user uh, click on these button so inside uh, go select QB from the uh, drop down and call this jump function so as you can see that we have a small checkbox right here so if you see in our script our jump function is taking an argument of type boolean so when this small jump is true our player is going to do a perform a small jump and if it is false then the player will perform big jump so we will we can handle that argument by this checkbox so on big jump we don't want it to check so we will we will pass false and on the small jump button make sure that this checkbox is checked so now if i run my game So when I uh, so now I am going to click on this big jump and you can see that our character is doing big jump. Similarly with the small jump we can now do a small jump on button click. So if you run this game on your Android or iOS, you you can uh, click on this button by simply tapping and control your player. So now uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, give users a reward when it reaches a certain limit. So uh, for example, when we uh, when user has successfully reached or passed 30 tiles, we want to uh, uh, make some changes or give user a reward. So uh, one thing that we can do is to change the color so now you can see that it is green color so this is because in our on collision 2d function right here we have this code for changing the color of our tile and previously i have passed zero which is the red color in our stand color 
array so if you can see here is our stand color array and in that we have four different colors so uh, red green blue and yellow so uh, what we are going to do is when user reaches when user reaches 30 and when user uh, reaches to score of 30 we want to change the color to red and when the score is 60 we will do uh, we will change the color to green and then at 120 we will change the color to blue and up to so on so we can uh, add more colors in our array so uh, to do that uh, what we are going to do is i am going to create an integer variable and call it color index and i am going to initialize it with zero and uh, another thing that we want is uh, our achievement threshold so i am going to say int achievement and initialize it to 30 so now every time our player jumps and land on the uh, next tile we will perform a check check at the end of on collision enter 2d function so we will say if achievement or uh, sorry we'll say if score text dot text so we are getting the current score of user and we need to parse it because it's a string so this actually score text dot text is this text that we can see right here so when it is 30 we want to change the tile color so if it is equal to achievement which has the value of 30 so when the user achieve uh, what is uh, defined in the achievement then we want to change the color so we will simply say color index plus plus So uh, also we don't want it to uh, go higher this color uh, index value higher than the size of our color stand color array so we have to perform another check in here if stand color dot length minus one uh if color index is greater than or equal to so if color index is uh, greater than or equal to this then we want to set it back to zero equals zero otherwise else we want it to we want to add one to it and also we need to uh, update our achievement so previously it was 30 so now we will update it and we will say achievement will equal to achievement into 2 so first time it will be 30 then 60 then 120 and up to so on so now uh, the length of our stand color has it has four uh, values four colors so this will return four 
and if our color index is also 4 then we want to set it back to 0 so this will actually return 4 and then we will subtract 1 from it and this will return 3 so if it is equal to 3 then we want to set it back to 0 otherwise we want to add 1 to it so now I am going to replace this uh, replace this 0 with our color index so that's it I think we should create uh, another function for that so I will simply say void achievement achieved and put this code cut it and put it right here and simply call this function at the end of on collision enter to be so now let's go back and hit play so as you can see that when we reach 30 the tile color changed so uh, you can uh, make it a bigger value so currently if it is 30 then you can make it uh, I don't know 100 or so or you can leave it to 30 and where is our score text so uh, currently we are giving uh, five scores on each jump so we can reduce it to one jump so i think it should be in on collision enter so here right here so we can simply make it one so now each time user perform a jump will get one so now you can see that we are getting these values so after that now I think that's enough for this video and I will in the next video i think we should uh, work on our main menu and we will create uh, some um, amazing animations for our main menu and uh, create a user interface for our game so i will see you in my next video and before that uh, make sure to download my final version of this game from play store and uh, let me know in the comments where you whether you liked it or not and make sure uh, to leave a review on play store so i will put the link of game in the description of this video